the fact that <laughs> the fact that he said this shoe is giving him gas. <laughs> What it do? It's your girl Lala Milan, and I'm back with a whole nother video. Today is about to be super cute, fun, entertaining, and hilarious. Why? Because we're looking at some hilarious comments under the Shade Room post that I absolutely found to be funny. But before we get into it, I want to say welcome to all of the new people. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button because trust me, you want to. And if you are returning, I want to say welcome back. And for all of y'all, please, please, please make sure that you check out my podcast streaming on every single podcast platform that you could think of because on there is so fun. It's different from my regular content. I'm not on there being silly and everything like that. I'm showing you the real me, a different side of me, you know. Um, I have conversations with so many different people. I've had Suki Hana. I've had Super Scent. I've had Lena Waithe. I've had Kim Whitley. I have so many great people who come on there and drop gems, give you motivation. You know, it's basically conversations like you would have in a hair salon. It's not hair talk, though, okay? So, with all of that out the way, Let's get into exactly what you came up in here for, okay? I'm going to show y'all some of the most funniest posts, comments that I see during the week on the shade room, and we're going to just have a good time. Let's begin. Now, first up, we have this video right here that basically shows a girl doing a TikTok and she got a chemical pill. Let's watch it. Hose on me. Left and right, glow not put him out like a light. Cool in it like a thief in the night. Gang going, he don't put up a fight. Fuck, fuck on your bitch, I might. Colors on me, pretty sight, it's light. What you say, gang? They'll fuck on your life. What? I jump, I make up my wife. She, she a nasty. Call that bitch Rico. What? I'm with Booth and we scoping through people. Coming threes like the motherfucking Migo. Hear my voice and now she call me Papito. BK the ruler? Yeah. You got a Magalev. Do it come with a cooler? Who is your jeweler? Shit. Her you with BD and you the motherfucking hey, trooper? Hey. First leg, I got a Mac. The hump. Fuck a lack. Ain't no attack. Spend a night, nah. Throw that ass back. Bridge hey. dreams. Turn it with stacks. Creep, creep on the keys. What? Why is your nigga mad? You was looking at me. Bounce out and beam. Black out in the studio, cause I was gone off the lane. Hoes on me, left and right. Glow not put him out like a light. Cool tinted like a thief in the night. Gang on him. Now y'all see how long the video was, and I don't know if y'all were waiting like me, but I was highly anticipating the outcome, right? So she's like one day, two day, three day. Now, okay, sis, what's going on? This is the comment that took me out. When it said three weeks, I let out the biggest hell no. Nah. <laughs> Y'all, when I saw that comment, I literally died laughing because that was exactly how I was feeling. Like, girl, you acting like it's about to be seven days six days or something before we see the difference girl three weeks later you gotta wait i'm never doing the chemical pill i'm good if it take that long then i'd rather just go ahead and use some topical medications and just wait for my fate my blemishes to just fade away with time okay okay so this next one was like man look the internet literally is undefeated okay so as we've been seeing Future is making, um, I think, I don't want to pronounce this wrong, Jada Chief's best friend, Des Dior, um, more known. Now, apparently, she was known before. She does music. Of course, she has her relationship, her friendship with um, Jada, really cute girl and everything like that. But um, it was rumored that they were dealing with each other and everything like that. But I guess now she just like, it is what it is. You know, I'm posted out with my man. What's up? So she posts, you know, a little video showing herself. Here's the video. Now we already know the stereotype and the stigma associated with future. He gonna give you a baby, then he gonna be on his way. Okay, so he gonna 
give you head, give you bread, and then impregnate you, and then say peace out, okay? Love Godzilla. Yeah, so with this one, the comment says, we rooting for you, sis. If Lori can escape baby free, so can you. Now, wait a minute. I am rooting for this girl, okay? Because first of all, from what I can see, I don't know how old she is. I don't know too much about her, but she apparently seems like she's younger, which I'd be curious to know what makes him target younger women. I don't even know how old Future is, but I feel like he's a little bit older. But I say this to say, yes, baby girl, get, get out of there baby free. Get the money, go shopping, get the good sex that they all be talking about, you know, and all that stuff, and then dip out. Dip out. The fact that they said if Lori can escape baby free, <laughs> so can you. Look, I'm not going to lie. One thing I noticed is that um, a lot of times we don't hear about certain women until they get with a rapper you know um i don't have no problem with it but girl go ahead and take this time to you know capitalize on it girl get get your music out there start dropping some stuff you know go ahead and keep looking good show them that you popping and then once it's over you are gonna have a whole new level to your reputation and you just gotta make sure you use it wisely hey use it to your advantage Okay, let's go on to the next post. So as you can see, Regina Carter has on the infamous Balenciaga individual toe shoes, right? I'm not going to lie. I think the ones in pink are actually really cute. And um, I would wear them. But I doubt that my feet would fit simply because my toenails be so long. So I don't know if it'll absolutely work. But... I say that to say the comments on this post that had me holler was, this gives me gout. Now, wait a minute. I am not sure if y'all know what gout is. Do y'all know? Okay. Let me explain what gout is. Okay, y'all. So for those of y'all who are unaware, gout is pretty much a disease that makes your feet lock up and, you know, causes extensive pain. And a lot of times when people couldn't deal with it, they would get a part of their body amputated. Okay. So the fact that, <laughs> the fact that he said this shoe is giving him gout. <laughs> It took me out. It took me out. I haven't heard nobody reference the term gout in so many years that when I saw it, I just said good day and goodbye. Okay, let's go to the next post. All right, so on this particular post, it was so adorable. It was the baby girl sitting in front of the TV and she was basically singing her heart out. Okay, now here's the video. The comment says, my mom would have told me to shut the hell up and stop all that hollering. If this ain't a black person's household, I don't know what it is. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I was younger, I used to literally think I could sing. You know, I had my headphones in and I, would, I thought I was hitting the notes, okay? Apparently, even if I was, my mom would have said, shut up! Shut up down there with all that hollering before I give you something to holler about. So that comment is valid. That comment speaks volumes to me, okay? In fact, it gave me a little bit of PTSD how true it was, okay? But yes, that, and yeah, that comment has so many likes and comments to it because they know, they know what it, what it was in a black household. So that was hilarious to me. You sitting here laughing and I done put in the work, but you ain't press subscribe yet. And you ain't drop a comment. What you doing? Okay. Let's get back to the next post. <laughs> 
All right, so on this next post, Sweetie basically showed her, she debuted her new look. She cut all her hair off, I think. I'm not sure if it's a wig or not, but she cut all her hair off and she went ahead and colored it and just, you know, gave a new look. Now, me personally, I can't cut my hair off because I ain't got the look. But Sweetie, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like she can't do no wrong. Do I think this look looks good? Particularly, not my favorite, but she has a beautiful face, so she can literally do whatever the hell she wants to. With that being said, the person in the comment said that this gives me fuzzy pajamas. I don't know if y'all ever had the fuzzy pajamas from back in the day from Walmart. Here's what they look like. and it's factual okay like one thing i could say is it don't matter what the hell you post on the internet people gonna find something funny to say and that's something that i learned so i'd be happy whenever people have a sense of humor and everything like that sweetie seemed like she got a real bomb sense of humor so i'm sure she could care less what people have to think and she'll probably make a joke out of it which i think is absolutely fire but baby the fuzzy pajamas though, really? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to the final post of this video and uh, yeah, see what it's giving real quick. Yes, 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 as you can see, which we already knew, you know, Summer Walker is pregnant. I think Erica Badu's daughter, you know, slipped up and showed it. I don't think she told her, don't post my belly, but um, she was denying pregnancy. But I mean, we could tell, you know, it is what it is. So now we got London in the guts. Yes. I wonder if it's going to be a boy or girl, but I'm very, very, very observant, right? So I immediately saw something on the wall which leads me to the comment i said the baby not even born yet and writing on the walls but congrats you know here's my thing i am the type of person i find humor in almost everything except for death anything you know concerning somebody's children or you know certain things that's like serious but this was harmless you know, just fun, comment, playful, whatever the case may be. Because I zoomed in and I saw something on the walls. But I'm not going to lie. I was dying laughing at my comment myself. Because we all know that bad kids be out here writing on the wall. You know, and then you got to pop them. I ain't going to lie. When I have kids, let me catch them writing on the wall. The writings are not on the wall. This is not Destiny's Child. That's what we're not going to do up in this house. Okay? Yes. So... Congratulations to Summer Walker once again, y'all. But that comment, my own comment, made me laugh. It's, can I do Yeah, Yeah, I could do it because it's my video. But anyways, let me know some of the out-of-pocket and hilariously funny comments that y'all saw on The Shade Room this week. And do not hesitate to send them over to me because I think I'm going to go ahead and start doing this on a regular basis. Let me know what you think about this video, okay? Otherwise, please make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel, okay? I can't keep going if y'all don't keep on giving me a reason to go. With that being said, y'all already know it's your girl, Lala Milan. Make sure you tune into my podcast every single Monday on every single streaming platform, okay? It's called The Salon with Lala Milan. I have some fire guests and everything like that. Until next time, I love y'all for real. Bye!